Anderson. That might get him started. Liking, loving, whatever, that's who he is. If there's a thin line between love or hate, it may be a three-point line. Old Miss sharpshooter Marshall Henderson is one of, if not the most polarizing figures in college basketball today. But is he good or bad for the game? Here to debate the Rowdy Rebel, John Rothstein of CBS Sports Network and WFAN. And on the other side, Scout.com's Ben Garrett. Ben, we'll start with you. Henderson was all SEC second team in the newcomer of the year. Do you think he's good for college basketball? Uh, I think he's great for college basketball, and I'll tell you why. Just like in the WWE, college basketball needs a good heel, and Marshall Henderson plays the heel better than anyone. He's the CM Punk of college basketball. Uh, Ole Miss fans, they love him. Uh, everyone else, if you play against him, you hate him. And uh, he's not afraid to run his mouth. He's not afraid to call things out, and he ags things on. He, he always uh, tries to get people to bite on the things he says, on the taunting, on pointing to crowds, the jersey popping, whatever. It can only be good for college basketball because outside of, you know, Oxford, Mississippi, and maybe a little bit down in the South, who knows of Ole Miss basketball? But now you're seeing the New York Times write about Marshall Henderson. You're seeing yeah, but all of that has nothing to do with the image that Marshall Henderson presents when he steps on the floor for Ole Miss. Look, I'll be the first one to admit that Marshall Henderson has rejuvenated Ole Miss's program. But can a star player for once act like he's been there before? Marshall Henderson's antics, while his level of play really elevated Ole Miss to the SEC title last Sunday against Florida, was completely out of line for somebody trying to make a name for themselves in the game of that's, basketball. That's fine, but college basketball is boring enough to not have a face of a guy who gets people angry. It's fun for college basketball. It's, it's, it might be fun for college stuff. basketball, but as you look and you try and prepare young men to become adults, and have a career in the real world, whether it's basketball or somebody else, somebody who acts like this can't be taken seriously as somebody want, who wants that person to be a representative of their university and their basketball program. Marshall Henderson isn't going to go be an accountant, John. He's going to go play in Europe or he's going to play in the NBA if he can catch on on a roster. So it, uh, it, we can talk about in college how we prepare young men to go off to great things. Athletes come to play football, basketball, baseball, any other sport. They don't come here to get a degree in basket weaving. So Marshall Henderson, go act crazy. Ole Miss basketball is rejuvenated. He's been a galvanizing figure for Ole Miss basketball and for a program that was dormant, that had lost to Mississippi State and South Carolina and Texas A&M. Marshall Henderson has been the unofficial mascot. And if not for Marshall Henderson, if not for him really rallying this team along with the seniors, he, they're not winning the SEC tournament. So he can do whatever he wants to, I think, because it's fun. People enjoy it. And no one knows of Ole Miss outside of Marshall Henderson, but you know what? The brand is out there. Guys, let's try asking this in a different way. Nobody questions Henderson's stats, 20 points per game. With, but with his passion, his raw emotions, can you trust him? That's a big word, trust, especially during a pressure cooker like the NCAA tournament, John. Absolutely not, because one thing that Marshall Henderson has yet to prove is that he's capable of taking shots at a high percentage. He's a high-volume shooter and a high-volume scorer. And also, keep in mind, the way that Wisconsin plays, very deliberate, a team that uses the shot clock, could frustrate a player like Marshall Henderson. I think this is a real tough matchup for Ole Miss. Oh, I think it's a real tough matchup, no doubt. But can you trust him? Andy Kennedy trusts him completely. Uh, you get you you've got to take what Marshall Henderson for who he is. He's going to take bad shots, but when those bad shots are going in, it's a thrilling thing to watch. And Flo against Florida, a transition three, he comes down. Ole Miss is down two. He hits a transition three. It was a terrible shot. Ole Miss takes the lead. This is Marshall Henderson. You take the good with the bad. So can you trust him? I know that his teammates. I know that his head coach. They trust him completely. And really, outside of that locker room, it doesn't matter. You're go Andy Kennedy decided he was going to hitch his wagon to Marshall Henderson. When they're down double digits to Missouri, Marshall Henderson brought them back. He hitched his wagon to him. You're going to live and die with him. So can you trust him? Yes, I think Ole Miss can because that's how they've done it all year. And it's looked really awful at times. And sometimes, like it did over the weekend in Nashville, it's looked really good. All right, John and Ben, great points uh, from both of you. We certainly thank you for your perspective and sharing it with us here today. Thanks, Robin. Yeah, anytime. Well, how would you like to watch the Final Four in a brand new 60-inch LED Samsung TV? Now is your chance. Campus Insiders is hosting a watch and win sweepstakes on our Facebook page. Just click on the sweepstakes icon, watch the Insiders video, and guess what school they're from? It's that easy.